Uganda has had many armed conflicts over the past 50 years. A study released by three NGOs, namely the Refugee Law Project, Safer World and International Alert, indicates that most of the conflicts are undocumented. From Luero, Paramoja, Northern Uganda, West Nile to Kasese, there are victims who are still living with physical and psychological wounds from events that happened 20, 30 years back. Stephen Oola is a program manager at the Refugee Law Project. He says the biggest impediment to overcoming the death of information has been the lack of a truth-telling and reconciliation framework. And we think it's important as a country to sit down, reflect and devise strategies that can allow us to come to terms with the past. The three organizations have documented some of these conflicts in a new book which will be released tomorrow. In our research which we'll be launching, what we call the Compendium of Conflicts in Uganda, we went around the country asking Ugandans what conflicts have affected them in the past. How have they dealt with this conflict? Police right now are the agents of land grabbers. However, in recent years, a number of disputes have emerged across the country over land and other resources. Many of the disputes have tribal undertones, which Ola says have made the country unstable and undeveloped. There's no sense of inclusion in other sectors of the economy. So people tend to galvanize around physical, physical resources like land, now oil, forest, water. He hailed the NRM government for its recent efforts in promoting national reconciliation across the country. The return of the properties of Buganda, for example, that is a milestone. The rebarrio of Basilo, Okelo Lara, the recognition and commemoration of Jana and Luhum. The three NGOs have organized a national reconciliation conference at Speak Resort in Munyonyo to deliberate on the issue. The country's political upheavals since independence have made national reconciliation difficult to achieve. Moses Akena, NTV Weekend Edition.